where Hezbollah has launched rockets from southern Lebanon. Israel is retaliating with airstrikes on the villages of Daira and Yarin after rockets were fired into northern Israel. On Tuesday, Hezbollah fired guided missile at an Israeli military vehicle and Israeli forces responded by bombing Hezbollah outposts. We can speak now to Ali Hashim, our correspondent on the border. He's live from Daira. That's where this fighting has been taking place. Ali, just talk us through exactly what's happening there. Yes, Laura, we are standing just in front of the post where all the uh, shelling and launching of rockets was taking place. Uh, for now, we uh, heard from uh, emergency services that there are two civilians injured. However, there are many civilians who are kind of uh, uh, stuck in that area because they can't arrive there. There are reports, but they can't arrive there. What happened today is that uh, in the morning there were several guided missiles uh, launched from the Lebanese uh, side of the border on an Israeli military post. And then maybe our... Uh, colleague right could take us towards the wall that's that's the the border line between Lebanon and Israel and that's where everything was uh, happening so after the the guided missiles hit the Israeli post then we started hearing Israeli shelling now shelling was taking uh, place um, with drones uh, not uh, not uh, not uh, air raids or air strikes rather with drones artillery and uh, following that moment of strikes, we started hearing gunshots. So it seems there were some skirmishes. Now, what we are talking about over here is just observations. Well, we don't have the clear picture. It's just what we are able to see from this side. We try to be as close as possible to the flashpoint. Um, however, this is, this is part of a greater context, a bigger context, maybe uh, could be explained later. Yesterday, there were uh, rockets uh, launched from South Lebanon, from Hamas. Day of, before yesterday, uh, Islamic Jihad infiltrated from this same area, from Dhera. So uh, the tension is, uh, is mounting from the Lebanese side of the border. Still an operation area, but things are gradually getting out of control. OK, Ali, thanks very much for bringing us the situation there on the ground. Well, let's try and get a bit more context on the situation there. We can join Zaina Hodder. She is with us from a village of called Maroon al-Ras. That's along the Lebanon-Israel border. And Zaina, this has long been a volatile border. So can we still say, though, that the fighting is a contained situation or has it spread wider than that? It's still limited, but it's gradually escalating. It's day four since we've seen um, escalation, if you like, along the Lebanon-Israel border. And wh what we're seeing is, you know, attacks, tit-for-tat attacks. Hezbollah saying that this is in response, it's targeting the Israeli position in response to the killing of three of its members two days ago. Um, so both sides really limiting uh, the... Uh, artillery shelling or the attacks to military targets. But this could easily change. And already you hear some officials being quoted in Israeli media that the rules of engagement will change. We're getting reports that some of the uh, retaliatory strikes by the Israelis um, hit close to civilian homes. So the situation is very, very tense. We've been coming to this border over the past four days. Now, when you drive along the border, you don't see anyone. People have left their homes. Uh, the sound of Israeli drones constantly overhead, the sound of Israeli warplanes. People of this region know very well that the possibility of all-out war cannot be ruled out. But Hezbollah has been treading carefully, sending messages, putting pressure on the Israelis, telling them that if you continue this escalation against Gaza, you will face pressure elsewhere. And it's not just Lebanon. Yesterday, they opened a new front, and that is the Syria border. Um, uh, Hezbollah, as well as other Iranian-backed groups, have positions along Syria's border with Israel. There were rockets that were fired across the border yesterday. Really, another message that your forces, your resources could be stretched thin if you continue pushing with this, with this offensive. Um, but at the end of the day, all, all I can tell you is that people here 
are worried. You're getting, uh, you know, a lot of news uh, that you can't even confirm. For example, uh, some local news agencies are saying that uh, Hezbollah told the UN peacekeeping forces as well as the Lebanese army that they should leave the area. We called the UNIFIL command. They said this is not true. Uh, the Lebanese army has not said anything about this. So tension is building up. The pressure is building up as each day passes. And as, as you know, Israel continues to put more and more pressure on Gaza, then expect Israel to face more and more pressure from this front and the front uh, bordering Syria. Okay, Zaina Hoda, thanks very much for bringing us the scene there on that border, northern Israel and southern Lebanon. Thanks very much.